Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this crisscross ponytail braid on Naraya. I really like this hairstyle for her school especially. It's super cute and she loves braids. So the first thing you're going to do is wet your child's hair. Naraya has a lot of hair so I'm going to wet it. Not too wet where it's like dripping but mainly damped is what it's preferable as. And then you're going to brush it out really good. Make sure there's no tangles because tangles are a pain when you're braiding. So yeah, just make sure you're brushing that hair out really good. And now you're going to put a line down the middle with your rat tail comb and not all the way down where you're gonna make two braids, but just in the middle of the head, like in the middle spot in the back. So just make that line all the way to the middle. And now use some pomade so that way you don't have all types of flyaways everywhere. Uh, flyaways always get in the way, but yeah, just rub it all on top of your child's hair like so in the video to keep all those um, flyaways away. And then you're going to start on one side of the head um, like you're going to be doing double dutch braids. So basically you're going to start with the dutch braid and how you do a dutch braid, I'm not really good at explaining how to do braids, but instead of putting the three strands above each other, you're going to put them underneath each other. And you're basically doing it like a French braid, but instead of doing it above, you're doing it under and then you're just going to keep pulling strands of hair and do it all the way till you get to where the line ends in the middle of the head. Uh, but yeah, that's the best way I can explain it. I'm not great at explaining braids. I'm sorry, I'm not a braid expert, but if you don't know how to do a double dutch braid, I'm sure there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube. Um, that's how I learned, so double dutch braids are really cute. Uh, but um, yeah, just keep braiding it all the way till you get to the end where you made your line at in the middle of the head. And once your braid reaches to where your line stops, go ahead and stop uh, adding strands of hair and just braid it all the way down with the piece of hair that you have. And then just braid it all the way down and then tie it with a hair elastic. And basically you do it on the other side exactly how I did it so and now once you're done you're gonna have the loose hair and then now you're going to go and make your line down the middle all the way to the end and part the hair on the sides so that's how I did that I don't do perfect lines I'm sorry I'm not perfect but do it the best you can and honestly I don't really like how the lines are so perfect sometimes so um, and then you're gonna cross over one strand of the braid to the other side and then the other strand to the other side so you're basing, you're basically crossing them over and then when you cross it over go ahead and tie it with a hair elastic to keep all in place And once you're done tying your band in place, go ahead and get the other braid and cross it over, hence the crisscross uh, pigtails. But yeah, go ahead and tie that in an elastic band as well. And once you're done tying them, it's optional. You can leave the braid like that or you can undo the braid that's in the pigtail so that way it can be loose with the rest of the hair. I left the braid in only because I like the way it looks. Um, after I'm done curling it because we're not done yet, but that's pretty much how you do the crisscross um, Pigtails, they're super cute. I really like them on little kids and especially on toddlers. They're super adorable But yeah, that's simple as that the crisscross pigtails and then you can go ahead and add in a bow if you want the bow on the back of it to hold the crisscross together um, but I sprayed some hairspray just to keep the hair in place and then I bobby pinned some areas that needed to be bobby pinned 
down and then I went ahead and put in her little bow. I didn't know which one I wanted, but she wanted the blue, so we put the blue bow in and that's how it's done. And then you can go ahead and get your uh, curling iron out and put it on, put it, turn it.